All right, folks. Uh, mm. All right, folks. Good morning. Uh, it's not seven thirty yet, but um, I'm sure you can catch it online radio. Uh, so you can help spread the word, post it about it on Facebook. Uh, everywhere on social media, uh, you can catch us on the uh, on the tuning radio. As I said, it's very very uh, inexpensive to monitor because the data uh, consumption is very low. It, it doesn't require much uh, bandwidth to play. So the website is on is uh, is w w w w uh, Roots R O O T S Roots one oh two seven FM dot com. That is the website and the uh tuning. Um you just go to your Google Play Store, download the tuning app. It is T U N E R N and then you just search for Roots one oh two seven FM dot com. Yeah, that's rules one or two seven. It's extremely easy. I wouldn't expect people to be bothering me about it to show you. It's very, very easy. And yes, we're on tuning. It's very, very crystal clear. And we're on the website. Uh, we're on my tuner as well. My my tuner. That's m y t u n e r dot com. So you go to my tuner. You just search roots uh, one or two seven fm. Uh, that's it and you're gonna listen to us so right now there's music and everything I'm saying is live on the radio right around the, ro- the world and so the gospel show comes on in uh, in a few minutes from now uh, so as we promised you oh, we're not gonna make any changes uh, what we're not gonna be able to do for now is to take calls we're trying to fix that from Liberia that will be able to take calls uh, on the program so that it can be interactive as it uh, as has always been. So we're working on that. So for the meantime, this is how you can catch us every morning. For for now, we don't run the online radio 24 hours, but at least uh, before the show starts, every morning, about 10 minutes before the beginning of the show, we're going to put the online radio on. And you're going to be able to listen to it anywhere in the world. So this is, listen to some Liberian music. Until we come on in five minutes time. Yeah. 
Yeah. Shout out to Zaki Jiba. Huh? Shout out to my heads. Huh? But two girls are two friends. She could make you pay. Rest uh-huh. in peace, Morris Dolly. Shout out to Rich Nigo. Yeah. I saw you see Martina and Ibo. Straight you want to be bo. My cry is coming, balling, easy rock and be on fire. What? My Uber palace can make you sweat. Bow it till you tire. Yeah. I do the over juice, the boy and Tiko and Nimle. Yeah. In your mouth, but then I JJ see the bala wala. Yeah. Who are hollering there for my time and fire there? The industry used to ball like beer, now we just fire there. Come on, they back up in one one cent ways, man. I am Baro, hey ya. My mama used to carry me to Ripoli and Monte Carlo, hey ya. No more day, rest in peace, no more day, oh. Rest in peace, no more day, rest in peace, no more day, oh. Hey, hey, I say. All right, folks, good morning and uh, welcome to the cast to show on uh, Roots FM still. We're still on Roots FM <laughs> on the internet and uh, and we're still on Roots FM on the internet and on Facebook and uh, the SoundCloud is going to be uploaded. Okay, hold, hold on there, folks. I have to put the, uh, the recording on so that we make sure... Uh, we have it posted later on for our people who will be money monitoring. Uh, who will be monitoring later on via the? Uh, let me see. I think I need to make an adjustment here. And the audio is probably too loud. Uh, the volume in the recording so that it wouldn't be too loud. Uh, oh yes, yeah. So um, we we want to say welcome to the program. Uh, you're listening to the Costa Show. We're on the internet. You can catch us on uh, Roots One Hundred Two Seven FM dot com, and uh, we're also on uh, TuneIn, uh, the app which you can download on your phone. And listen from absolutely anywhere in the world. Um, this is technology. We live in a technological age. Um, I want to make sure the audio on this thing is uh, good. Is good enough. It's not too loud for the. Uh, uh, oh my God. Okay, for the for the um, for the Adobe. Because we record the audio and then we post it. All right. So, um, you know, so today's, in today's word, uh, in fact, <laughs> somebody posted yesterday on Facebook uh, this data from CNN that uh, 80%, uh, I mean, talking about countries <clears throat> and their internet use. 
that 80% of uh, Liberians use the internet, including those who are not very uh, educated, but they use the internet. So um, the internet use is very widespread across the country, and so people can access information very easily, can monitor um, once they want to, and uh, we're working on some other means to make it even easier for people to money monitor. But we're still exploring. Of course, the possibility exists, but now we're looking into the costing, how much it's going to cost to be able to do that. It's going to be so revolutionary that you're going to be surprised. You're going to be pleasantly surprised, especially those of you who love the show and what we do. Uh... Let me get my IT guy to link up with me. I think the volume on the recording software is too loud. And uh, and um, the volume is too loud. So we're trying to... So we're trying to uh, see what we can do to adjust it. Mm -mm -mm. You know, um, let me say this to you. Today, we're not going to do the full run of the Costa Show because we don't have um, the phone lines active from Liberia. We're going to get them active maybe today or tomorrow where we're going to be able to take calls from Liberia. Uh, can you imagine some people will come in and tell me they can't find Roots FM on tuning? I'm telling you, when everybody else is listening to a Crystal Claire, some people just don't know their way around the internet. Uh, but uh, as I said, we will not be able to go to do the uh, interactive segment of the show, so we're not going to be able to do the full... Um, hmm, Jesus Christ, it looks like I have to post this thing for some people. Because apparently, no matter how you say it and what you do, some people, like in the classroom, some people are just very hard to learn. That is the way it is. This thing is so simple and anybody and everybody can get this thing easily. But some people, you got to hold their hand and go show it to them. Jesus. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. So, um, so we will not do the full stretch today. <coughs> well, this is some part. About an hour. Uh, about an hour and a half, and then we'll be, we'll be done. Now, folks, I just want you to think about it. Why do you think the government shut us down? You know, we've been looking for some of our documents. You know, the government raided our offices. You all saw the video. They took doc documents away. Anything and everything they could lay their hands on, they took them away. But... We've been able to find some of our documents, yes, which we have here. And I'm going to read for you. And I'm going to read for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read for you some of the documents that we've been able to find. You remember the government said that we didn't have anything at all, right? That's what it said, that we had no paper, we had no documents at all. We have letters here from the L LTA. Hmm? Our bill, listen, we will publish them. We found some of our documents. We have a letter here from Lenny Eugene Nagbe. I'm going to publish this letter. The letter from the LTA submitting our bill to us and telling us the process, how to renew the license. We have it here. We have it. Letters from the LTA, from the government. Telling us, this is the letter from Lenny Eugene Nangbe, June 26, 2018. I went to Liberia. I met with President Weir in June. What day was that I met June? Somebody can pull up the research. Do the research you can find out. Because I posted the pictures after my meeting with George Weir. It was in June 2018. Why am I mentioning or specifically mentioning June? Because... It was in June that I met with President Weah, and it was the same month 
that President Weah authorized Minister McGill to authorize Eugene Nangwe and the LTA to issue our license and our broadcast permit. So you do you do the math. Now I have the letter here signed by Len Eugene Nagwe. I'm, I'm going to try to hold this up and see whether you can see this letter. And I'm going to post this letter. I'm going to post this letter for you all to see. We've been looking for some of our documents. They ransacked the whole office. They looted everything. But luckily for us, we found some, some copies of these documents, which we will publish. Ministry of Information, Cultural Affairs, and Tur Tourism. The moment I met with George Weir and we agreed that I would lend support to his administration, his government reissued our frequency. This is a letter, June 26, 2018, to whom it may concern. The Ministry of Information, Cultural Affairs and Tourism hereby grants the permit to Sankos Media Group. Sankos Media Group is our parent company to operate a commercial radio station, Voice FM, in the Republic of Liberia. Are you listening, folks? In the Republic of Liberia, for the period June 27, 2018 to December 31, 2018. Normally, that's what they do. They give you the, probation, the probationary period. They, they do that for everyone. Then, of course, this is just automatic. You go ahead and you renew it afterwards. You are advised to remain within the scope of your stated objectives of providing quality and educative entertainment programs for the public. This permit can be withdrawn for any ethical breach, of course, which was never done. Signed, Agatha Thompson, Director, National Communication Bureau, approved Len Eugene Nagwe, Minister. Folks, are you there? This is what the government gave us. Now, let me also read for you what the LTA wrote us December 13, 2018, even before George Weah came to power. Edwina Zakba, dear Mr. Sadie, I present compliments from the Board of Commissioners of the Liberia Telecommunications Authority, LTA, and wish to acknowledge your letter dated November 26, 2018. This is before George Weah came to power. In which you are applying for commercial license to operate a radio station in, Li in, Li in Liberia. Listen to this. As part of the requirements to obtain such license, Kindly follow the procedures as indicated below. Renew the, the permit issued by the Ministry of Information. You see, then we proceeded to Eugene Nagwe. Yep. Which expires December 31. So, so, so. Re, renewal shall be on a, uh, shall also include the business name, Roots Hold Holdings Incorporated. Listen. Then they submit us a bill from the LTA, the application fee, to Roots Hold Holdings Incorporated, Mr. Fidel Sadi, station manager. The application fee, this is the invoice, 100 US dollars. We have these documents, folks. We're not stupid people to just get up and make noise. You see? So the government and us, we have the letter that we wrote to Agatha Thompson from the Ministry of Information. She received our letter. She signed for it. The letter was written to Eugene Nangba. You, Eugene Nangba, sent it down to her. We have our LRA, uh, uh, the, the tax payment receipt, when we pay the amount of 600 US dollars. We have all these documents. Hmm? We have all of these documents right here. Yes. This is, it. yeah, in November, yeah, Joshua was already in power. That's, 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 that's true. George Weah was already in power in uh, 2018. He came to power 2018, January. So by November, he was already in power. We have our tax, our flag receipt. This is a tax payment receipt, LRA 1383741. Uh, this is our team, our tax identification number, uh, 
and uh, we pay the amount of 600 US dollars. And to whom did we pay this money? To the Ministry of Information. And we pay for a shortwave for shortwave radio station. Uh, we paid it into government's account. Yep, yeah, that's it. All these documents here. Uh, this is our business registration. Everything here, the official flag received from the Ministry of uh, of Information. Yeah, you, yeah, you go, folks. We paid every everything. Now, how can the government claim that we did not pay or we did not register? How can they claim this when we have the permit here for Lenny Eugene Nangbe? Once you are granted the permit, all you need to do is every year they raise the bill and send it to you, and then you renew. Then we wrote them. Every time we ask them for our bill, after especially when we and the government were no longer in good books, then they decided they would not submit us a bill. So this is a situation, folks. We have these documents, and we're going to our lawyers are going to file them in a in a court, and 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 we're gonna we're gonna test the system and see how how it works. But more importantly, folks, more importantly. We're not simply sitting now and folding our arms and waiting for the government to grow conscience and common sense and do what's right. Because can they disown all these letters, all these documents for Len Yu Jin Nangwe granting us our permit from the LTA, telling us the steps and submitting a bill to us to pay? You know, can you imagine all these documents that we've been able to find? Can they disown them? That is the thing. Can you say you did not give us these documents? Can you say that? Now, there are other avenues that we are exploring. And we're not going to discuss here. But we are exploring them. You know, we just want to uh, say this to you. We are exploring other opportunities. And uh, we're not going to tell you about them here just yet. Uh, I need some help here. Tevez, if you're monitoring... Tell our guy to get in touch with me. I'm not comfortable with the volume on the Adobe. Uh, I uh, I need a uh, I need some uh, I need some help here to reduce the volume on the Adobe. It's very important that we do that. I'm not sure this audio will be very good. I think it's too loud. I I, I, don't, I don't know how to work this stuff. It's, it's the guys in Liberia that know how to work work this stuff. So Tevez, if you're listening, tell our guy to get in touch with me. Let's do some adjustment on the on the volume on the volume here. I think the volume is a little too loud. Uh, yeah, on the 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 on the on the recording. Uh, now, folks. So. On Friday, the opposition political parties, the COP, they issued a statement, of course, uh, a statement to the government calling on the government to immediately reopen Roots FM and return all, all of our equipment that, was, that were looted. And the government is yet to respond officially to the statement, except for comments made by crazy people like Akaros Gray and and Cyrena Cephas and uh, Eugene Van Gong. But uh, there hasn't been any official response. Uh, of course, no. We're not telling you what our steps are. Clearly not. We're not telling you. We're working on a lot of things, but we're not telling you everything. But what we can tell you is that the COP, the Council of Patriots, of which I am chairman, and the political parties, the CPP, uh, uh, the C C CPP issued a statement on Friday and they have called on the government they've given the government an ultimatum to immediately reopen Roots FM or they will carry out sustained citizen action to ensure that the station is reopened and all of our equipment re re return I want all of you who are supporters of ours to begin to spread this word that Wait, our people have been asking me, Costa, what are we doing? When are we going to get out? When are we going to protest? But we cannot do this on our own. We want to do it with the combined forces of the four major uh, collaborating political parties. And so we will come out. We are going to protest. 
It's up to George Weah. Open our radio station, return our equipment, or we will protest. It is as simple as that. Now, our lawyers, our, our, you have to understand our lawyers are working. Papers are going to be filed, but I'm not going to give you specifics. I'm not going to discuss all of these things here on the air. You have to bear with me. You have to understand that. You cannot reveal all of your strategies and all of your plans. Uh, you have to keep some things to your chest. Some things will only be, uh, uh, we will only tell you some things after they have happened. And, 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 and that is it. And so these documents that I have here that we've been able to find, some of these documents, the flag receipt when we paid it 600 US dollars into the government's account, and when the LTA raised the bill for us to pay the application fee for the license, when the LTA wrote, we have all of these documents, we will publish them, these things we can publish, so you can use them. Uh, in, in, in fact, I'm going to post these documents, I'm going to give these documents to our supporters now, so they can begin to post these documents all over the place for people to know that we did. Uh, let me see. For people to know that we, somebody tell me to lower the volume. I can lower the volume. You need to tell, uh, uh, you need to tell the guy. I told you, tell the IT man, don't tell me to lower any volume here. Yeah, let me send it to the man. Folks, you gotta bear with me that I, I need to uh, get my guy to join me to fix this thing here. Uh, you know, one of the ways our people listen to the show is via the uh, SoundCloud. So we got to make sure the audio is, is, is not too loud and distorted uh, so that people can be able to money, money to and, uh, and And so uh, let's see how this is going to go. But okay, now he's about to remotely connect with me from Liberia to be able to sort out the sound. I mean, the volume of the Adobe recorder. So, and something as, I mean, as I was saying, we, we will publish these documents. We're going to give these documents to our, to our people. And you can post them all over the place so that everybody can see. I'm going to give it right now. We don't have anything to hide. Uh, people can see these documents and uh, let everybody know what we have. Uh, and, and, and the government can, they can't, they can't, uh, uh, we we were looking for them. Now we got them. Uh, now we got them, and we don't have all. We have some of our of our documents with all the signatures there. Uh, you know, so I'm trying to send some of these documents to our people, so you all can see how can an illegal operation pay taxes. The government of Liberia granted us a license and a permit. How can we pay you taxes and pay you money? And then you say we are illegal simply because we don't no, no longer sing or dance to your tune. And, 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 and so and you don't even have the sophistication. Look at the way you did this thing in a very crazy way. Sending an ex-rebel general. The same rebel generals that Nathaniel McGill organized. The same people that Nathaniel McGill put together that the United States Embassy had to re uh, issue a statement condemning them for reorganizing themselves when they were meant to be disbanded that was the whole idea of the of of of, of the disarmament and demobilization reintegration and rehabilitation process it was meant to demobilize these people from working together but you all know that Natana mcgill the minister of state to the president organized these people a death squad and these were the same people that murdered it is believed that these same ex-rebels were the ones that murdered Matthew Innes, the guy from the Central Bank, and who organized them? Nathaniel McGill. And McGill went on record to say, yes, I organized them, I got them together, and what's wrong with associating with, with, with Liberian citizens, regardless of who they are? McGill was defending his, 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 his affiliation with ex-rebel generals, ex-rebels. And, and which prompted a statement from the American embassy when these very same ex-rebels were threatening to arrest a sitting lawmaker, uh, Yeke Koluba. You remember that statement from the embassy? These are the same ex-rebel generals led by, what's his name, General Powell, Joseph Nagwe, a.k.a. General Powell. He was the one that led the operation at Rus FM. He can be seen in video and in still photos giving instructions to the police of officers. We're, we're not even 100% sure that those people were actual police officers. And you can hear him telling the people what to do. 
break the place down. Go in, do this and do that. You see that? The guy is adjusting the volume on the Adobe. Fantastic stuff. He's in Liberia. He's connected to my computer right now doing the adjustment. Thanks to technology, man. And so, ex-Rebel General, they, they took no even inventory. The way the code works, in 2016, July the 4th, when Ellen Johnson said he felt that she had had enough of the Costa show and decided to shut us down, she sent the folks at the radio station. It was on America's Independence Day. I was in my home in Wilmington, Delaware, when we were informed that the court officers had arrived. The court officers came in and they went and they, uh, they shot, they presented a warrant. My guy signed the warrant. That's the way it should be done. The warrant should be received and signed after you read it. And then the court officer began to effect the warrant, seize the equipment. Well, that's what they said they were going to do, seize the equipment. But they pre presented an inventory. They did an inventory of every single item, every microphone, every headphone, every mixer, computer, everything was listed. They call it an inventory. And then after the inventory was done, we reviewed the inventory. They made two copies. We review it, we sign it, they sign it, and they give us a copy, and then they left. That is the way it is done. But in the case of George Weir, there was no warrant served. There was no inventory conducted. This thing was not done by court officers. It, it was done by police officers, and this is not the law. The law does not give police officers the right to come and break into your place, literally break into your place, and take your equipment away, no inventory done whatsoever. This is what they did. So, of course, believe you me when I say, when this, if this government does not give us our equipment back and reopen our radio station, we're going to begin to carry out a series of protests, peaceful pro protests, until this government comes to its senses, until they give us our equipment back, until we reopen our radio station. You just heard me read earlier in the program if you were on, and the documents I've sent them to some so so the you for Costa and other people, and you will see them posted all over social media. The permit granted us by Lenny Eugene Nagbe, the letter from the LTA uh, reacting to our inquiry how to go through the formality to be to have our license granted to us. We went through all of that. The money we paid, the flag receipt that we that we paid, that, that we have, that was granted, that was issued to us after we made the payment, and, and all of those things are there and we have them. So we are going to we are going to do that. Now, let me tell you something. George Weir, uh, the Sunday after his birthday, he went to he went to his um, church. And you listen to this. George Weir went to his church. This man, vainglorious petty man, boasting, bragging, bragging. See the things the man boasts about. You know, the country is in trouble. We are in a serious, serious, serious mess. George Weir is standing there in his church and he's boasting about how he is blessed that on his birthday, he was able to travel to three countries in one day. This is the president of the Republic, Boston. But be, before I play this audio for you, and I have all the sensitive information that I'm going to give you, just wait, before I play this, this clip for you. Yeah, your president boasting about how on October the 1st, his birthday, he spent his birthday in three countries. And he said, that's a blessing. This is what your president brags about, about being able to spend his birthday in three countries. are not collecting any money. Anybody tell you that we are collecting money. When or if we begin to collect money, we will tell you that we are collecting money. But we are not collecting any money. Mm -hmm. of the sort. We 